Okay, everyone, welcome to class. We're gonna go ahead and we are going to, is this thing on? Yes, ticker's going, okay. Um, as we do this fire right in text rendering, we're going to define joy um, in a circle map. And then my essential question on the outside, the frame of reference, I'll go ahead, I'll write frame of reference. I guess you don't need to write that, don't need to write that. But the frame of reference question, you can just write the question, is it's at the bottom of this document. Um, do we need woe, and that's sadness, in order to understand joy. So do I need to have experiences with sadness and tragedy in order to understand joy? So everyone go ahead, get that down. Okay, this should be in your journal. And then what we're gonna do is in order to do this, we are gonna do a text rendering. Where we will go ahead and in this document, we are going to connect to one word, one sentence, actually only one word and some phrases. Um, in this quote, this is the main quote for Animo Voices right here. And then we'll continue to do the text rendering on these poems. So have this to the side, right? because we're gonna get ideas for what joy is um, through our text rendering here. Okay, first of all, I'm just gonna read it. So the sharing of joy, right? So this is the noun, the sharing of joy. This is the subject of the sentence, right? The thing that we're talking about, this is the what. The sharing of joy and why am I bringing that up, right? Because it's not a quote about joy, this Animo Voices quote um, by Audre Lorde. It's about sharing of joy, right? So my question right here is, um, and wow, look at this light giving me a harsh shadow. Um, must we have others or must there be other people involved in order to experience joy so like in other words is joy like a community experience right like does it have to do with community um, connections, um, relationships. So, I mean, just like stopping here, looking at this phrase, the sharing of joy, right? This is, seems to be what they're arguing for. Cause it's not just joy, but it's joy is something that we need to share. Okay. And these are the different kinds of joy, whether physical, so physical joy with another person, emotional joy, right? So physical, oh, I wrote a three, two, emotional, psychic, whoa. So I don't know, this is interesting. I'm like, okay, well, what does this mean? Like um, a connection um, or a bond or intellectual. So thinking about our identity box, intellectual has to do with the mind. Right, so the sharing of joy, okay, so it's like the sharing of joy is a happy connection, right? Right, it's like a joyful connection. Joyful connection. 
whether physical, emotion, psychic, so some kind of like mental bond with a person, or intellectual, right? So I don't know what this means. Like we're having a discussion about a book or a movie, or maybe this is just like in class, right? Have we had joy together in this class, right? Maybe you've had joy with your scene. So there are all these forms of human connection, joyful human connection. Oh my goodness, I've only gotten to the one line. A bridge between the sharers. So joy is a bridge. So this is almost like a metaphor. Joy is a bridge. I'm going to write this down, right, as a metaphor. Joy is a bridge of human connection between the sharers, which can be the basis for understanding. Okay, so joy is a bridge that is a basis. What does this mean? Right, I think basis, another word for basis is foundation of understanding. Right, so this is how we understand each other. This is how we know the other. Know the other human. Basis for understanding much of what is not shared between them. So this is how we understand what's not between us right so this whole phrase is interesting to me much of what is not shared between them oh this highlighter is booty uh, so joy is a bridge that helps us understand much of what is not in between them right are all humans different yes Right, but we can be connected by like these moments of joy, these bridges, right, and lessens the threat of their difference, right? So, like, oh my gosh, what a word here threat! Like, we do not need to be scared, scared of each other, right? We don't need to be threatened by each other if we have these moments of joy, right. So we should not be afraid of difference, right? Because if we have these moments of joy, we're kind of like connected um, by our humanity, right? So we all are human. All right. So this is the quote for Animo Voices. Now let's do a text rendering of some of these poems or if you're in AP art. Kind of like a text rendering of the art. So you're connecting to a word, a phrase, and a sentence. And I'm just going to kind of mumble up here. So is this thing still on? Here we go. So I'm going to mumble. Turn down the volume. You guys go too. So again, you're connecting to one word, one phrase, right? A sentence. And art students, right, you're pointing out elements, um, principles, right, and what they mean, might mean, right? So uh, visual metaphors, metaphors, looking for conceptual symbolism. Okay, so I got to get in closer. Blah, 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 model by example. So joy and woe, woe is sadness. Right, are woven fine. So we need sadness. A clothing for the soul divine. Oh my gosh. So divine has to do with a god. So we are more godlike and out of the cave. Divine, if we've experienced both. So in order to know joy, we must have sadness. Under every grief and pine runs oh that makes me think of a tree runs a joy with silken twine okay so under every grief and pine i disagree with this i feel like we before joy it's not the other way around reverse it is right to be so. Man was made for joy and woe. And when this we rightly know, safely through the world we go. So we are safe. Mm. 
I can Okay, so keep moving through and rendering, right? So let's see if I can live the experience of an art student, right? So text rendering, this is a light source, right? Core shadow right here. Oops, can't write shadow. Okay, so the light is coming this way, right? Um, different ages. Um, the small hands makes me think. Joy, little moments. Um, we have converging lines. Converging lines. Um, lines are repeated. The repetition creates unity, right? There's full range of values. So we have darks, dark value, right? You need to have a full range of value. Okay, blah, blah, blah. So art would, art would keep rendering. And art, you can like go over here. You know, um, you could talk like about the repetition of the shapes, right? So we have organic shapes in the background. Um, we have a variety of mark making, right? We have wavy, wavy hatches, right? We have like these curvy kind of like hatches as well. Repetition of the line and similar strokes helps to create unity, right? We have this light source right here. Right, so thinking about, okay, well, what does joy look like? How can joy live in my SI, like as a solution? Okay, and then drama students would keep rendering, right? So I connected to one, one word, one sentence. Joy is a bird metaphor right so joy is a bird a fragile thing fragile means easily broken right so if i'm drawing like you got all the si's right the things that are easily broken by comparison uh, the things that are easily broken when our innocence is lost right like this idea of joy being lost um and joy being a connection between two human beings can live in SIs, right? I see that in Elizabeth's pieces, right? Um, at the beginning, right? So can we return? Can we come full circle with joy? Content as a kid in Snug and Warm by the Cottage Hard Fun Store. So bow in a spring has to do with a tree. So poised means it's on the tree. It's a bird in a tree. Content is a kitten. Content, happy. So joy is happy, like a bird in a tree. Snug and warm by the cottage hearth on a night storm. Voicing a music, singing. Joy is singing or dancing or doing our morning runs like birds. Long months after the bird have flown. Voicing a music all her own. Is joy being alone? Long months after the bird has flown. Mm. Oh, this makes me think of tick, tick, boom. Ask the birds, what does it take to make a generation take off and fly? Um, fear or love, ask the birds, guys. Right, there's a connection here. Ask the birds, tick, tick. Okay, so hopefully that's enough. Right, this maybe you annotated that. Let joy keep you. Okay, and then we're gonna go into this beautiful fire, right? And here's the deal, right? 
you know, art, I, I want you to start doing this fire right, but like if you feel like without a mood board, you can sketch joy, sure. But I really do think you need the conceptual ideas of what joy is before your mood board. So I recommend that everyone do this fire right, obviously. Um, and it's going to be harder for art students to do this, I think, because there's not much art about joy out there. Um, so Mrs. DT first, what the hell am I looking at? This is a poetry acronym that I teach, but I just want to remind my students about it. If you had me last year in drama. Um, so M stands for meter. I don't think we should worry about that so much. R stands for rhyme. We shouldn't worry about this today, but we're looking ahead to the spoken word. Sound. Okay. This is easy. So you repeating anything in your fire right again and again and again would be awesome. Diction has to do with word choice, right? So have fun with the words that you choose. Tone, right? So what kind of tone are you going to take, right? You have all those choices, but don't get so caught in the thinking. Okay, F figures of speech has to do with like metaphors. So this is something that you can do. Compare joy to something in this fire, right? What is joy to you? Okay, and then imagery. What does it look like, sound like, hear like, smell like? Right, and then ask questions. Ask why and how questions about joy. All right, and you will discover your theme. But these are just things you should think about as you're writing, okay, about what joy is for you, and then we'll share out in this. We'll come full circle. Okay, everyone go. Let's fire right.